Hello, my name is Yang Lijuan. I come from China. I'm a lecturer in the School of Economics of Lanzhou University, Gansu Province, which is located in the northern western part of China. And I come here to attend the Alta Forum, and I was sponsored by the Song Qingling Foundation of China. And uh, the topic of my speech is Mm, ecologically oriented standards, internationally harmonized standards, and green trade development. I'm very interested in the standards, so I think people can communicate with each other because they share some common values, and we can we can see it common standards. And just like between mm, among countries, among different trade countries, when you want to do business between different countries, you have to comply with some standards. Then if you can share the same standards, then we can communicate we can communicate completely and doing business adequately. So my viewpoint is um, we should build our standardization practices dialogue before we develop international trade. Mm, about standards, we think I, I think I think in many different cultures, <coughs> mm, the very most the very most fundamental things are the same. Just like some basic values, like the respect for nature, like the protection for environment, all these ideas are common and the same mm, in our different cultures. So one way uh, dealing with international issues and. Uh, facilitate of international trade. I think we should uh, um, focus on the common ideas, the common points among different cultures where shelf the differences. So I think we should build complete and adequate standardization system and uh, pay more attention to those standards which have very close relation with environmental protection like the management standard, environmental science standards. So. Under this background, then we can push our international trade to a more greener direction. I can't agree with them because China has a very long history and actually <coughs> whether it be Confucianism, Taoism, then every, um, every period, every time in our, in our history, we respect nature in a great deal. So in Confucianism, in Taoism, we always respect the earth and the nature as our parents and we hope we can do something to flourish them, to make them better. So there, there are also some, um, some industrial development happened in our most modern cities but I think it's a common phenomenon existed in the development stage so we should pay more attention to the good things we have done. Um, Obviously, there existed some some problems, but I think from our traditional nature, we have our respect. We have our respect for nature. That's the most important. For for those people who think there may be Chinese people don't res don't re respect the nature, I think it's due to the incomplete communication. <laughs> I think incomplete communication might lead to some disputes, but that's not the truth, I think. Okay, then I want, I, I want to thank you <laughs> for giving me this opportunity to stand here. And I also want to thank the organizers uh, of this forum, because I, when I come here, I see the beautiful scenery here and all those specific houses. Every people are very friendly, so I'm, I feel very happy and I um, although I'm not the host here, but I wish all the friends from all over the world can come here and enjoy the scenery. Thank you.